welcome back. Hi. Welcoming you all together to make tonight some unprepared Laura's famous spaghetti bolognese. So, the first things that we needed to get were 500 grams of minced beef. In American shops, they call it ground beef. We have about 1.3 pounds. Stock cubes. We have so many stock cubes, it's embarrassing. Florida feeling full of stock cubes. I can't even open the door without stock cubes falling over your face. Tin of chopped tomatoes. Somehow, I forgot to buy tomatoes when making spaghetti and what is essentially tomato sauce. We had some stewed tomatoes left over from our curry recipe, I think. Cloves of garlic, spaghetti, some mushrooms, onion. Do we have olive oil? I said to buy that, but I don't think I did. We didn't have adult zucchini and courgette. They had baby ones. Because everything is adorable at Trader Joe's. We're going to do then some garlic chopping and some onion chopping <laughs> using a proper knife. Thank you for the shade recipe book. This is how you open the garlic. Ah! So bad. I'm gonna put this one back in its little, um, I don't know, Ouch. scrotum. That <laughs> don't you know kids watch this show? This is a family program. When I was checking out at the grocery store, the boy at the checkout lane saw the recipe book and he was like, ooh, what are you reading? And he, go, he goes, is it good? And I was like, no, because it's a recipe book and I'm bad at cooking. But slowly getting better. Did you know that garlic looks like a series of brain tumors inside? I did not. Yes. I think they what did. What is that? You can scuba dive and find some of this? Well, Our food turg well, is back telling us that this time I got the serving size correct. Yeah. Oh, sheer dumb look. The dumbest. Okay, so. Oh, no, I should turn the camera to me. I'm not really doing anything right now. Well, you could be. There's more than one way to chop a garlic. Because now this way exists. I'm going to cut myself. Yeah, no, that's the wrong way. If you cut your finger instead of whatever it is you're trying to cut. You're gonna have a bad time. Aaron, please be on camera. It looks like I'm talking to myself. I have an imaginary friend rather than a roommate. His name is Aaron. So. Imaginary landlord? Can I pay you some imaginary rent? No. <laughs> we run into a slight problem already. Aaron has alerted me to the fact that an entire, like, bulb of garlic may not be a clove. One of these little things of garlic might, in fact, be a clove. I cut up more than one of these little, like, semicircle guys. A... Three cloves of it. Be even so that's like triple the recipe. No big deal. Heat a little oil. Sorry, we don't have it. It's gonna be butter. In the pan, and then fry the onion and garlic until Wait. soft. Or a pot or a pan. Ugh. That is stupid. Okay, yep. so confirmed we're gonna use a frying pan to fry something. Frying pan? It looks like I'm just scrubbing this pan. I'm scrubbing it with butter though. Hot. Paula Dean, are you proud of me? Paula Dean, Paula Dean? Butter is a very, very beautiful thing. We have a brand new fancy electric stove so you can see it getting red under there. All right, do we need to like mince the meat even more or do I just like put it in in this giant brick? Uh. No, it's, you gotta wait for the Oh, I have to wait, first. I have to wait. You're so rare on the vault. Ah! Okay, we're gonna cut some other vegetables. So you're from like thicker than mine. I don't think so. They're the same. They kind of look like they're wearing hats. I'm putting my back to the audience. I don't have time for the, your theatrics. Slam dunk. Thank you. Are the zucchini hats edible, do you think? We have a good amount of vegetables, I would reckon. You look really distinguished. I oh, am. Yeah. Next, we gotta add in the tomatoes, but you need to double check the uh, book. Guys? Add minced meat, stir it frequently until browned all over. Browned all over yet? Well, it's brown half over. <laughs> <laughs> then you are to add the tinned tomatoes and crumble the stock cubes in. Last time we may or may not have broken our can opener. Which sometimes are not on film. Sometimes we actually use this. What? For other kitchen-y I thought this pursuits. was just a studio. No, it's not a studio. It's a two-bedroom, two-bath. <laughs> 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 
Can we please use the non-violent kid opener? The oh my god. Fish. Should we be boiling pasta? Do you see this? Like two speeds. Slow or death awaits. I kind of hate this part. Stock cubes oh. are great in the end of the recipe, but actually touching them is probably what half of a double dare course felt like. What's a double dare course? <laughs> Your job is to crawl up the tongue and get down the slide. Oh, this is fun. I love this. And you'll slide all the way down. But when you get to the bottom, there's a lot of gack. Ew, gross. I watched educational television when I was a kid. Leave on a low heat to simmer for 20 to 30 minutes. Oh, that's what they do. Make it taste nice. Make surface area and volume dictate the temperature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the temperature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,